Hi Sagittarius. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Merging Timelines. I'm Melanie and we are going to do our weekly spread. This is going to be for Monday through Friday. These readings are going to be intended for the sun and moon signs. So if you have sun and moon in Sagittarius, this video is for you. Um, we're just going to check into our week. What's, what's ahead of us? What's going on? What do we need to look at? That kind of thing, Sagittarius. Ooh, too many, too many. Um, I want to say thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing on my videos. Ooh, that's definitely the one we're going to take because it fell right on out. Don't need more confirmation than that. And let's see what we got here for my Sagittarius. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. So, are we accepting love from someone, something? Are we allowing it to teach us what love looks like? Is it bringing us back to the best parts of ourselves? Is it allowing us to wake, awaken the best parts of ourselves? You know, I feel like that. I feel like by honoring what it is that you love and accepting it for whatever it is and just being in that moment and that feeling and that feeling alone instead of just like watching everything around you, you're allowing yourself to be guided back to the light. And I like that for you, Sagittarius. It's very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. I'm not quite into the colors and things, but I'm getting there. Getting to all of these good things so we can break down in better detail what energy is being brought to you. I appreciate you growing with me spiritually. All right, Sag. What are we doing? Who are we talking about here? Who's the love focus on? Who are we allowing ourselves to be so deeply engulfed in that we are somewhat being taught how to be our best selves by focusing on it? That's awesome. That's beautiful and all. <laughs> all right, Sag, show me. Spirit guides, this is for my sun and moon. Woo! I like that. Bam. Right back out. The wheel. Good luck is on your side. It's affecting your environment. Things are spinning in my Sagittarian's favor. Things are going your way. I like that. Why? You are so full within. You know what makes you really, really happy. And you got family and emotional abundance all within. And it's creating this good cycle in your environment, these blessings to just start pouring in on your way. Speaking of blessings, Six of Pentacles, did you receive something lately? Has someone been reciprocating all this good vibe to you and for all of a sudden you feel at peace with something that you're currently building? That is great. <laughs> My Sagittarius have no issues going on right now. No issues. What's not to love, Saji? I like this reading for you. Having so much to look forward to with the Wheel of Fortune. But still, something is blocked. Now that threw me for a loop. You're blocking something when it comes to your emotions within. Maybe you want this. This has been brought back to you. That you want this equal give and take so yet you're willing to build with someone. Maybe you're not with the person. Because something in your environment 
just focused on building this. But yet you were blocking it somehow. I have to pull a clarify for that. But let's get your advice card. Maybe your advice will tell us what it is that you're blocked towards. Because you feel so full within. Yet I do have the seven of wands. Or maybe you're just defending. Maybe you're just defending and that's what it is. You're defending what it is that you love. Feel your oh, I feel so much saggy energy. Every time I do you guys' this reading, I swear I sweat. Whew. Um, you've got the page of wands and the knight of pentacles. So, being having this creative project that's going to put you in a very good space. If you're the female, I see you creating a new idea, a new passion, and then putting forth the effort that it takes to build this on stable, grounded foundation. That's awesome. Is that what you're blocking in the future? Are you blocking yourself from starting a new project? Because you have everything around you that says you can do it. You have everything. You have the Six of Pentacles as your influence. So you know that you're getting an equal give and take in your environment. You are full within with the Ten of Cups. And then in your, sorry, in your environment, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So you see new cycles and blessings just pouring into you and you're building with somebody but yet in the future you're still blocking a new creative idea a new creative project no 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 we don't need to do that sag what is this what is this page of wands it's a new passion i feel like you have this idea definitely if you're a woman right if you're a woman i see that you have this idea to create something create your own business mm -hmm. um if you're a man you're thinking of creating something with this because within you feel emotional happiness and you can see this equal give and take this balance between you and someone else and so you're ready to build but yet someone is blocking something you know there's definitely a message of passion involved here an idea of passion so whether you're needing to extend this message or open yourself up to the fact that you can ground this idea it's something that you should really move forward in it's something that you have everything you need within yourself to give birth to you know and you're allowing the love of the universe to be your teacher in this so Sag create this idea start this new project I definitely see it for you I see it giving you what you need remove the block you know remove the defensive nature and allow yourself to move on to that eight of wands, that divinely guided passion after you allow them. That's what it is. I feel like at the moment, everything around you seems like it's going well. It's just up to you to remove the block within yourself that says that you can't do it because you can. Everything around you shows you that you can. You have a stable foundation. You have an equal give and take and blessings are just pouring into you in your home so start this new project extend this passionate message you know i see it doing good things for you i see it giving you a great abundance you know all right sag so this was your message for the weekly reading and i hope that you stay tuned to the next weekly reading coming up uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much. Have a great day.